Welcome to the annual conference virtual venue. I'm here to provide a very brief tutorial to help ensure that you have the best conference experience possible. The first thing you'll see is your login page where you'll type in your email, the email that you registered with, and provide the PIN number that was sent to you via email by the Congress Secretariat. Once you sign in, you can select your microphone and camera settings, and then you'll get to the check-in page. So the first thing you'll see in the check-in page is a nice welcoming video. You'll then see some of the details that you provided when you registered, You'll have the opportunity to upload a profile picture, submit a short bio, update your social media channels so that we can keep in touch after the conference, update your time zone. This is very important to make sure that all the sessions appear in your time zone. You can update your virtual name badge and finally confirm your microphone and camera settings one last time. Once you update this, you'll be taken to the annual conference homepage. The first thing that you'll see is the most prominent feature of the virtual venue, which is the timeline. If you scroll through the timeline, you can view all of the sessions taking place throughout the course of the day. You'll also be able to join virtual networking opportunities, as well as the opening and the closing plenaries. If you're interested in learning more about a session, simply click it. And on the right hand side, you'll see the session description. You'll see the speakers that are taking part in that session, and you can also access their social media handles. Once you have found a session that you'd like to attend in that same session information box, you'll find a link that you can click right here. And once you click that, it serves as a sort of front door to Zoom and it'll take you directly into the session. Once the session has ended, simply return to the virtual venue and you can access all the other sessions thereafter. If there's a session that catches your eye, you can mark it as a favorite by simply clicking the little star next to the title where it will then end up in your favorites filter up here. Once you click that star, your timeline will change to only reflect your favorite sessions. That way you can make sure you don't miss them. There are two main ways that you can network with people within the virtual venue from all over the world. Let's check out the first one, which is the Meeting Hub. You can find that right here and click View. Once you're in the Meeting Hub, you'll see all the conference participants on the left-hand side. You can scroll through and see if there's any names that you might have seen within a session, and you can chat to them. If someone wants to chat with you, you'll see them appear up here under Pending or Invitations. Let's say I want to chat to my colleague, Megan. Type in her name. And once I click her name, I can either initiate a video call, I can message her, I can share notes from a meeting, and I can also check out her contact details and see if maybe I'll add her on LinkedIn later. Other opportunities to network within the virtual venue will take place during lunch and after the closing plenary. So you'll see here that next to lunch, it says virtual networking, click that, and you'll see this hyperlink on the right that says KPAC Virtual Networking Room, which is this really cool new app that we're trying out this year called Wonder. Super simple, all you have to do is click this link and it'll take you straight there. Once you're within the Wonder Room, you'll see different conversation starters. All you have to do is drag your little avatar to one of those conversation topics and your video and microphone will turn on and you'll be able to actually video conference with different people about that conversation topic. If you're starting to lose interest or you just wanna meet new people, you just drag your little avatar to a new little box here. And if you don't wanna talk about anything related to the field, you can just go to Coffee Machine Banter to talk about what movies you watched that weekend. Last but not least, if you require any assistance throughout the course of the conference, you can click this little help button up here and a user guide will pop up that might answer some of your questions. If you still aren't finding your answer, you can click the live support button and someone from our team will be ready to assist you. And that's basically it, folks. Those are the main features of the virtual venue. I hope that you found this helpful, that you enjoy exploring the virtual venue, take part in some really interesting conversations throughout the day, and I can't wait to see you in the sessions.